Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the Quick Measure Pro. This is a really handy accessory to have to measure fish with. You know, if you forget your ruler all the time, or your measuring board, or anything like that, this can be something that will basically be with you at all times because you can actually put this on your fishing rod and you can use your fishing rod to measure a fish that you catch if you're a wade fisherman or you fish from shore or again you just don't have room to carry you know a full size ruler with you or you just happen to forget it so this can be applied to a fishing rod it can be put on the handle of a net the handle of a gaff uh, your kayak paddle or a paddleboard paddle whatever it may be it just has to be a smooth surface as you can see this one here this is the quick measure pro and it actually comes with two measuring tapes in there. And I'm gonna be showing you how to actually apply this towards the uh, end of the video. But we'll just go ahead and open this up, see what we're working with here. So you've got a business card in there and then you have some prep wipes. You're gonna use this to wipe down the surface before you apply the measuring tape to it because you wanna get any type of oils and uh, debris off of there so that it adheres to your fishing rod or wherever you put it onto correctly. So two wipes there, and then we have the instructions on the back, but again, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this in this video. Then you have the measuring tape, and it is transparent, so all you really see when you put it on the rod are the lines and the numbers, and you do have two of them here. And they're really narrow so that you can uh, again, put it on a fishing rod, which is a very narrow surface. And also this measuring tape in particular, this one is 36 inches. And we do actually sell this now on our shop page, so you can pick them up at fishstrong.com. And if you are one of our insider members, keep in mind you do get up to 20% off. All tackle, all gear, all accessories on the shop page. So be sure to take advantage of that. So in order to do this properly, there are a couple extra things you're gonna need. Number one being a pair of scissors so that you can cut the tape, and then also a blow dryer, which you're gonna to use to heat up the decal so that it adheres properly to the rod. So first things first, what we're going to do is prep the rod. You're gonna use one of those alcohol prep wipes that came with the rod ruler. We'll just take that out of the packaging. And you wanna uh, wipe down the area that you're going to apply the decal. Now, ideally, you want to apply the decal to the back of the spine of the rod. So what I mean by that is basically the opposite side that the guide's on, you know, the back of the rod. So we'll just take that alcohol wipe and just wipe down that entire back section of the rod. As far as you can go, you know, doesn't hurt to go a little further than required. Just wipe that down like so and then you want to let that dry. So we'll just let that dry for a second. Next thing you're going to do is take the rod ruler and you wanna cut it in half. And what I mean by that is both of the tapes are on one basically sheet. So you have to cut down that center line to separate them. So go ahead and do that here real quick. So now we have both tapes separated. You can put one aside for another rod or wherever you want to put that. And then we have the single one here. Now, if you don't want to use the full 36 inches, of course, you can always cut it. If you only want it to be, let's say, you know, right at the end of a slot size or something like that, you can just cut it wherever you need to. So we're going to make sure that this rod is dry. Feels pretty dry to me. Just take a paper towel just to wipe down any excess that may be on there. Then from here, what you wanna do is put the zero end of the ruler towards the back end of the rod. That way, if you do happen to catch a fish that's longer than the tape, you can just you know mark an area on the rod where that fish went to, or if you take a picture, you can refer to that later. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start peeling the tape off on one side. As you can see, it is clear, like I said before. Then when you put this tape on the rod, what you wanna do is first make sure that it is centered. Let's go ahead and stand up here. Make sure it's centered over the rod. 
like so. And try not to rush this because you don't want to have to redo it or mess up the tape that you may have. And what you want to do is just press down on the center. Leave the edges flared out. You don't want to push it all the way down yet because you want you don't want any bubbles or anything like that on there. So as you can see, I'm just taking a little bit of tape out at a time, and then pressing down on the center. So now we have the tape basically laying on top of the rod. And now what you want to do is just use your finger and just push down the center spine, you know, working that tape into the grooves, you know, wherever your guides are, you're going to have a little bit of a bump there. So make sure the tape is in those grooves. One thing you don't want is any bubbles where water can get into. And then from there, you're going to take your blow dryer, and then you're slowly just going to work down the rod going from one end to the other, and then just slowly pressing in the sides and the valleys and the grooves that the tape is sitting on. <laughs> All right, so we've heated it all up. We've pressed out all the bubbles. And if you need to, you can go over it again with a little bit of heat to get any extra bubbles that may be on there out. And that is all you have to do. Now, you don't want to put this on your rod as like right before a trip. You want to let this sit for at least 24 hours so that the adhesive adheres properly or else you'll go out there and you'll catch a fish, rod will bend, and then your tape will fall off. So you don't want that to happen. So definitely let it sit for about 24 hours before you actually use the rod. And as you can see there, that tape is good to go from zero up to 36 inches. If I'm wade fishing or surf fishing or whatever the case may be, if I don't have a ruler with me, as long as I have my rod, I'm good to go. So again, we do sell these on our shop page now, so you can pick them up at fishstrong.com. Insider members, you get up to 20% off the shop page, so definitely be sure to take advantage of that. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. So thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and also money on the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.